In this video, we're going to learn how to update latest AD command firmware on ESP01 module. I have two ESP01 module here. There are two types of ESP01 module out there in the market. On the left, I have ESP01 module, which is a regular ESP01 module. And there is on the right, I have ESP01S module. So there's a major difference between this both ESP01 module is on ESP01S generic module, we have a two LEDs and ESP01 S has only single LED and then ESP 01 S also has a resistor built in for reset and enable pin that's basically good that's why I feel ESP 01 S is more stable than ESP 01 but both works absolutely fine though one thing it's very important before we start updating the firmware when you buy this ESP 01 module make sure on the back side of this ESP 01 module there are labels right so it makes it easy for you to understand which pin is what when you connect to external pin or something like that so this module also has in the back you have the pin labels so you know which pin is what and another this 01s also has the pin labels here look at this tx enable reset 3.3 volt reset and ground pin right so it makes it easy when you are connecting otherwise you will struggle and I still suggest people to uh, buy ESP01S module rather than ESP01 generic module, that's regular module. Now, one thing though, it is recommended that you should use something like this. This is an ESP uh, programming adapter, which has a built-in reset switch. So when you press the switch, then this device resets. Otherwise, you have to use external female to female header to connect this wires to short the pins to put this ESP01 module into the programming mode or to reset. So the way you use this ESP01 module is usually we take this ESP01 module and you have this antenna part. So you make the antenna part to face towards your USB uh, connector and we have to place it gently like this. And then we have to push it this is how we connect so this esp programming adapter makes it very easy to flash the latest ad command firmware on esp01 module and we have this built-in reset switch so when we press the switch then this device resets it makes it very easy and to put this device into programming mode we need this female to female jumper wire now when we short the ground pin with IO0 that means G0 so some module has written IO0 and some module has G0 so input output pin 0 that means G0 when it connects to the ground pin on the module you should use this external pin and to understand which pin is what you should look at the back because there are pin labels so when you short Z0 means IO0 pin with the ground pin then this device goes into the programming mode so i don't need this device anymore so usually when we are done with connecting this esp01 module with esp programming adapter and when we short this g0 means io0 pin with the ground then this device goes into the programming mode then we have to simply power up or connect the esp programming adapter to our laptop then we can open esp8266 flasher utility and then update the binary so upload or flash the binary file firmware onto the ESP01 module. Let's update latest AT command firmware on ESP01 module. We need ESP8266 flash downloader for this task. And as we have connected ESP01 module to the computer, we have to make sure what COM port it is detected to. So we have to search for device manager. And in a device manager, you can see under the ports, we can see the COM6 is detected for ESP01 module. So once we are sure, we can put the COM6 here. And then we click on this bin, that's basically for binary. So we can browse this binary file. So you can download this binary file and this ESP8266 flash downloader from the link given in a video description. So select the binary file, click on open and then click on this download. So this will take a couple of minutes and then it will start flashing or downloading the ESP01 form where AT command from where onto the ESP01 module. So you have to have a little bit of a patience till this process finish. Once the AT command firmware upgrade successfully, then you can see this message shows up leaving fail to leave flash port. This doesn't mean anything is wrong. This is just absolutely fine. The flash, the firmware is upgraded successfully on ESP01 module. Now we can close this ESP8266 flash downloader. So once the firmware update is done, then make sure before we test the AT commands, we have to remove this 
female to female jumper wire and now we can open a serial terminal software like a cool term or something you can even use the arduino serial terminal a serial monitor to write the at command and listen the response coming from esp01 module make sure before you write at commands we have to press this reset button so the moment we press the reset button this device resets so if in case you are ESP programming adapter doesn't have this reset switch to press and reset the device like this if your programming adapter doesn't have this reset switch then you need to use this female to female jumper wire and then here's a reset uh, pin on the ESP01 module so on the right side so this is a reset pin and then I connect to the ground and that also resets the device okay look at this when I connect and disconnect this LED lights up that's basically reset so one way you can press the reset button and this device light LED lights up and that reset the device whenever I press the switch this LED turn on and off that means this device resets otherwise you have to take the reset pin and then short with the ground and when you short and then remove you see the LED lights up that means this device resets I hope you can see how the reset happens by using the external pin. That's why I suggest people to use this ESP programming adapter to flash the latest AD command firmware on ESP01 module. So look at this when I press the reset button you see the LED lights up so device reset and now we can check the AD commands on the cool term or serial terminal software and we need another software that's called cool term and then we have to click on the options here and then we have to select the right com port in our case it's a com6 the default baud rate for esp826680 command firmware is 115200 so we have to select that and we have to click on ok so once we click on connect then you can see it shows up a message it says ready and it says ai thinker technology something something like that but it says ready that means our AT command firmware is running successfully on ESP01 module now we can type some AT command and test whether our ESP01 module responds to the firmware so if I type AT and hit enter you can see it returns OK that means our module is working fine and it is successfully communicating over serial communication now if you want to test what version of the ESP01 firmware is running on ESP01 module then we have to type AT plus GMR and hit enter and now you can see the version of AT command firmware that is running on our ESP01 module so now we have to check at which Wi-Fi mode our ESP01 module is in so we have to type AT plus CWMODE and then a question mark and then hit enter and you can see it says mode 2 and that's basically an access point mode so if you know the ESP01 connects to internet over station mode access point mode or station plus access point mode so we have to configure this ESP01 module into access point mode as well as a station mode so we have to type AD plus CWMODE is equals to 3 that's basically the mode 3 is basically an access point and station mode together so hit enter and now it says written ok so that means everything is working fine now if in case you want to scan all the Wi-Fi around you using ESP01 module then we have to type AD plus CWLAP that's the command and hit enter and now it will scan and look at this I have this binary updates as an access point uh, with this MAC address okay that means my ESP01 module can able to scan and if it scan that means it can also connect to the Wi-Fi that is a binary updates so let's say if I want to connect my ESP01 module to the binary updates as an access point to connect to the internet then I need to use a command AD plus C W J A P is equals to in a double quote we have to type the access point that's a binary updates complete the double quote comma and then we have to put the password that's the best courses and then complete the double quote and then hit enter and now it will hopefully it will 
return us Wi-Fi connected. So look at this, the Wi-Fi is connected now. So that means ESP01 module is connected to the Wi-Fi and it also returns OK. That means now my ESP01 module is connected to the Wi-Fi that's called binary updates. Now to create a bare minimum, a basic web server on ESP01 module, we need to run few more commands. So let's type ad plus cipmux is equals to 1. So this command, at command, basically set the multipoint mode. So hit enter and you see it returns OK. Now to set the TCP server and the port on ESP01 module, we have to type ad plus CIP server is equals to 1 comma 8888 that's basically a port so this is a port and then we hit enter now to check the IP address that is assigned to ESP01 module from my access point that's basically a binary updates I have to type AD plus CIFSR and then hit enter and you can see now I have my IP address of my ESP01 module because it is connected to internet so in the access point mode this is the MAC address this is the access point IP address so this is an access point IP address this is an access point MAC address and this is a station mode IP address and this is a station mode MAC address, right? So that means my ESP01 module is successfully connected to internet and also running the web server. Now to test the web server, uh, we probably need to copy first the IP address so I can copy this station mode uh, IP address. So just copy it and then we have to open the browser. So once you open the browser, then we need to put in the browser. I can just move a little bit to the site so you can see properly what's going on here. So let me just make it a little bit big. And then this is an IP address of the web server running on ESP01 module colon and then port 8888 that's what we set up into our AT command and when I hit enter you can see I get a response from my ESP01 module that's basically the HTTP response code so when I hit enter again you see I again get the HTTP response code that means the web server is running fine in the next video, we will write a code into the ESP8266 chip on ESP01 module and then we will build a web server and remotely control this LED which is a user LED uh, using the web server from the browser. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. We'll see us into the next video. Bye-bye.